Empty streets, shuttered restaurants, and now closed courts. The backlog is going to take a really long time, a really long time, because it's not like everything stops and, and we're going to get rid of those cases. I mean, it's going to take a really long time. OK, it looks like we are live streaming. Across the country, criminal courts have either gone virtual, been delayed, or stopped indefinitely. Eight states in the District of Columbia have statewide restrictions on jury trials, quote, until further notice. And for some of America's busiest courtrooms, the backlog has had severe and wide-ranging consequences. What was your first thought when coronavirus struck and the courts shut down here in Chicago? It was madness. <laughs> Catherine Crawford is the director of legal services for the Lawndale Christian Legal Center in Chicago. Her team of lawyers provides free legal defense for young people from the west side of the city facing felony charges. And it's also going to mean that more people are going to plead guilty to things that they shouldn't have pled to. In Chicago's Cook County, the second largest county in the country, there were between 700 and 1,000 trials held between April and October in 2017, 2018, and 2019. In 2020, there were 47. I had a young person who's accused of armed robbery, and it is a mistaken identity case for sure. He called me up two days ago. His case manager um, sent me a text and told me he, wants, he just wants to plead guilty to get this over with. You know, he was like, I just can't do this anymore. I just can't do this. And, and I was like, honey, you've got to hold on. You've got to hold on because, you know, we have good motions and, you know, we could, we could win at trial. You just have to hold on. But he's so tired. It's not uncommon for people accused of crimes to take a plea bargain. The vast majority of criminal convictions are obtained through plea bargains, 97% on the federal level and 94% in state courts. But for those who do want to fight the cases against them, the pandemic has left their lives entangled with the criminal justice system with no end date. If I'm out pretrial and I'm fight, trying to fight my case and the system is not dismissing cases, it's not dropping cases, it's not closing cases, I am now under surveillance, right, and under mm -hmm. the system's watch for some indefinite amount of time. In Chicago, there are 1,300 more people on electronic monitoring devices this year compared to last year. And for those unlucky enough to be stuck behind bars in pretrial detention, they're facing the very real prospect that they will serve their minimum sentences before they even get a chance to prove their innocence. Jamal Andrus, Newsy. Chicago.